guys and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be upcycling this tv unit um it is from ikea it is something that i've had for many years it is not working for me in this room it kind of needs to be redone so and i wanted to make it look a little bit more farmhouse ish so I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to be using uh, some Annie Sloan chalk paint uh, supplies as well as some wood supplies from a dollar store, which I will get uh, into it in a minute. So um, I'm going to take the TV off, the PlayStation off. I'm not going to empty anything out of the drawers because I don't need to do that. I don't think I'm going to remove the glass uh, drawers either, the sliding doors, because uh, I kind of need to know where I want them to stand and I don't want to take them off and then not know how to put them back on because that does happen to me often, especially with IKEA stuff. So let's get started. So here are the supplies that I'm going to be using. Oh, I need a, I need a knife or uh, something to cut the sticks with so anyways so i have these sticks um that i want to try because i have an idea um to use they're wooden plant labels but i'm just using the sticks so i will be getting rid of this pointy stuff and then here are the paints i've got any sloan original i've got graphite as well as some dark wax and some paris gray I'm also using hot glue. Now, the reason for hot glue, I don't typically use hot glue with furniture. But, however, because I'm trying something different and I'm not sure that I'm going to love this, how it's going to turn out. So, I don't want to be using anything permanent because I'm worried that I'm not going to like it and I'm not going to be able to remove it. Whereas with hot glue, you can always somehow pop it off. However, if I do love it, and once I'm able to get the hot, the permanent glue because it dried out on me, I'm going to go and get the exact glue that I need, and I can always just reinforce it with that afterwards. If you like the look and you want to give it a try, I would advise you maybe just to use the permanent glue. I'm going to seal the whole thing with some, some chalk paint lacquer in clear gloss. This is just, you use a brush to apply it, which is right here. I have some of my um, wax brushes for the dark antiquing wax. That's not a finishing wax, that's just a antiquing wax. And I need to get my chalk brushes too. And then I just have a inhaler cloth to just wipe this whole thing down. So I'm gonna start with cleaning it, and then I'm gonna start with working on with the sticks. So like I said, the first thing that I do is clean it off, make sure there's no sticky stuff on it or um, anything stuck to it because if there is, the paint won't stick. And I'm just using this time around um, wet cloth. Um, sometimes I use cleaning products, but I just thought I used just a wet cloth. Um, this is pretty much the only prep you need to do with any Sloan paint. Sometimes with chalk paint. Sometimes you might need to um, sand down if there is something really stubborn on it and won't go get off. You might have to stand, sand it but that's it. Now I'm moving on in measuring out my sticks. So I want to create a, a kind of a barn door look on here uh, so I'm gonna do two edges and then crisscross in the middle and I'm just using a actually wire cutters to cut the wood because I find that they work really well and uh, so I, I measured out and then I cut this uh, into um, four times because I have four sides that I need need it cut out for I didn't want to put a border at the bottom and there is already a metal border on top which I will be painting with that graphite later on. And the reason why I didn't want to do a border on the bottom is because of the sliding part and I thought if I put a border it might interfere with the way the, um, the glass shelf slides open. So I left that uh, left that out and I think it did turn out pretty nice without it. So once I had all my pieces cut, this is when 
the gluing uh, starts and like I said um, now that I have done it and I love it once uh, I can, I'm able to go get to the store I'm gonna go buy the pro proper glue to uh, glue the pieces on properly because I do find that um, if somebody were to hit it um, these would pop off For the middle, it was a little bit tricky to um, figure out the best way to do this, but I think uh, cutting um, the little pieces to fit in the middle rather than um, at the end was a better way. And I also wanted to say that the reason why I am doing these um, garden sticks is also I didn't want to attach anything heavy onto the glass because that would not work either I think it would just over time um, warp the glass or, or um, make the glass fall off if you added like actual real pieces of wood I think even trim would be too heavy for it Now that the sticks are on, I did the uh, the other side as well. I am letting the glue dry, and then I am uh, while that's drying, I'm going to apply a very light coat of the Paris Gray. Because you're going to be laying another uh, coat of another paint on it, I'm going to be adding some graphite. Uh, this, this is why this does not need to be um, a solid coverage. And you're also going to be adding some dark wax to it as well. So um, just enough to almost like primer the, the top. But I'm using the light gray paint. So while the gray paint is drying, I am uh, going to be painting the rest of the piece of furniture with my Annie Sloan original, which is like old white. It's a bit of an off-white color. And this, I added three coats because I wanted it to be a fairly solid coverage. I didn't mind if a little bit showed through, just it gives it that aged look, but I, I wanted it to be a more solid coverage. If 
If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. My name is Sonia and I share furniture upcycles, thrift store makeovers, as well as dollar store DIYs over here on my DIY channel. Uh, most of my DIYs are very budget friendly. So if this is something that interests you, I would love it if you considered subscribing, becoming part of my YouTube family. And don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So while I'm waiting for my uh, coat, uh, white coat to dry, I am going to be adding my graphite and I'm doing some uh, wet, heavier um, strokes and then I'm going to follow with some dry brushing. And the wet ones, uh, my brush, because I washed it after um, painting the white, uh, is fairly wet. So I'm just spreading it out with a rag and then I'm going to dry it off and just go over it with uh, just a dry, dry strokes. And this will give it that um, barn lo board look once I apply my dark wax. It will give it that little bit of a dark, darker to lighter spots. And this is why you want it to apply a lighter color paint on top so you have that paint um, dimension, I guess. I would call it. So now I'm going to add my uh, dark wax. Um, I am using a dark wax brush as well as the dark wax from any slime. And I am brushing it on. Uh, I am not um, wiping it off until the end just to get any chunks off that were left on it. I love using this technique because I think it gives you that wood look. Um, so what I'm after, which is the barn wood look. I also use this technique uh, when I was refinishing my fireplace. If you missed that video, I will link it at the end for you to check it out. I refinished my whole fireplace with this technique um, and it just took it from that um, orange oak color to a barn wood look and I love it. At the ends, because it was flushed with the side, I ended up doing uh, taking a rag and just uh, adding the uh, wax with the rag uh, because I was worried that I was going to mess up the whole side where it was painted white. Now that all of my coats have been on, I am taking my graphite with a small brush and just painting over any metal pieces that were on this piece of furniture. So like the trim on top and then there's a legs and a trim on the sides. Now I'm taking my sealer and applying it with a sponge brush and I'm going to cover the whole piece. I'm not showing you the whole thing just because it's a, I'm just brushing it on. I'm sure you guys all know how to apply a sealer. And this is a great, I love using the sealer because it's so much easier to apply it than the wax. And it is also great for out, outdoors because it does give it that waterproofing, which I think is great for this in case if somebody does put a cup uh, that's wet or anything like that on it, it will give it that long lasting protection. So it is all done. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think it's a totally different look 
I love, love, love the top. I'm going to give you a closer look at that. I think it gave you that perfect barn board look. And for quarter can, uh, can of paint and barely any paint on top of here. I think it was a vel um, very budget friendly upgrade. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to press the subscribe button if you have enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.